Have you ever joined a cult? Have you ever seen one in action? Well, I can tell you that each and every one of us has. Disney, a once fun family-centered company, is slowly revealing their true colors to the world. Whether it be their constant agenda pushing, or their desire to see the nothing but remakes, reboots, sequels, or prequels within pre-existing franchises, it cannot be denied that something is up with Disney. One might even say that they are slowly becoming a bit cultish. Have you ever heard those horror stories of Disney sacrificing virgins underneath the Disney castle? The deaths and suicides that take place on Walt Disney's death day among the various rides within the theme parks. It seems that more than ever, the American cult, that being Disney, is slowly starting to expose itself to the outside world. But unlike most cults, which seclude themselves for a doomsday that is nearing our ever-present future, the cult of the mouse is invading our lives and taking away from us something that truly matters to most Americans. Good, quality, entertainment. Tell us, Bob Iger, why is it that you want Disney to take over everything in regards to companies within the entertainment industry? Don't you want competition in order to make better products for your fans? You know, the consumers? Because from what we're all seeing, it seems as though you and the rest of Disney are absolutely terrified to bank on creativity and interesting stories. As fans of entertainment that will not pander to us in order to get at our money, we need to stand up to this devilish cult that wants nothing more than to ruin not only films, but also the culture of America. We don't need half-baked, soiled and sloppy and soggy, dumbed down movies and shows that will brainwash the children of future generations into becoming the perfect Mickey. Now, if you want to raise your kid in a future where they worship to the all-powerful Mickey, bow down to a statue of his most mousiness. Perhaps the future is looking quite bright for you. But for us, you know, the common folk, we're seeing exactly what Disney is up to within the entertainment landscape. The mouse is slowly starting to look a lot more like a rat. And if we truly want to see a change, a shift, a movement away from this type of entertainment, we need to be strong and decide to vote with our wallets on companies that have not bought into the cult of Disney. Let's stop this cultural suicide in America by giving our money and support to Warner Brothers and Universal, as well as small independent filmmakers. Though the situation does not look utterly bleak, it cannot be denied that there is hope. Why, it was during a film drought back in the 70s when Star Wars broke through the mold of mediocre film schlock. As brothers and sisters in the fight for good entertainment, we need to support those who are not trying to push their cultist message at us within every freeze frame of a blockbuster film. Let's get back to the days of greatness in cinema for our kids, for our future. I mean, seriously, do you want a future where everything is this 99 cent store Disney version? Thank you, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts down below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.